Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I am so excited for today's video because I have so much new makeup to test out, but what better day to do it than Valentine's Day because it's like a two for one. Get to try out some new makeup and do a cute little Valentine's Day look. So I am very excited. Grab a snack, grab something to drink, and let's get into it. <laughs> Finally got my order from Glamlight. This is the Glamlight X Betty Boop collection. Their shipping has improved significantly. This shipped really fast, so I have this new palette to use. By the way, I, I lost a nail, so don't look too hard. I have the mirror right here, which is very heavy, and it is so cute. This is one of my favorite things that Glamlight does in their collections now, because I really do feel like it's a collector's item at this point. I also picked up the Betty Boop makeup bag and this is actually a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. It has like little sections in here where you can kind of like organize your makeup. I have some new blushes to try from Basma Beauty. Juvia's Place has a new setting spray out that I wanna test out. I just got a ton of new makeup products that I wanna dive into. We're gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna do a really cute look. Off camera, this is the eye look that I came up with. It's really pretty. Glamlight said that these shimmers were their best yet or their most luxurious formula. These shimmers are very different from what we've seen in their previous palettes. They're more of like a topper kind of shimmer, but I think it's so pretty. This is not like a typical Valentine's Day look. I feel like this leans a lot more purple, but I'm loving it. So let me show you what I did. We're gonna start off with this shade right here called Boop Oop A Dupe. I wish there were deeper mattes in here. We do have a black, which is nice. But I found myself needing something deeper that wasn't a black to really kind of get this crease color. I did mix a few shades to get this kind of color that doesn't look super black. So my eyelids are primed. What I'm gonna do is basically take this on a pencil brush. This brush right here is from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is the B3 brush. I'm just gonna take this and basically sketch out a cut crease kind of shape like I did on this side. And it's okay if it's messy, it does not have to be perfect. I feel like this side of my camera is so dark, like I'm filming at nighttime and I usually don't film this late and I just feel like this side of my room is so dark. I'm just gonna intensify this shade until I get the, the intensity that I want, but can you believe this, this side started off like that? That's crazy, right? So I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm just gonna lightly tap into the black because I don't want to overdo it. I'm just basically going to trace exactly where I just put down that red. And it should look something like this. Next, I'm gonna take the Morphe M321 brush. I'm gonna take this shade right here called Boop Love. I'm gonna use this shade to basically blend out this entire crease. I'm gonna grab this brush from Blink Brushes, E53 brush, and take in that same shade, because I don't want glitter to be on this top part. And I'm basically gonna use that Boop Love shade to blend out this right here. And as you can see, the color is starting to change a bit. This is where you're gonna wanna take either micellar water or Vaseline. And this is what's gonna give you that really sharp, crisp, clean line like this. I'm gonna take a clean Q-tip and just wipe off that product. Next, I took my Made by Mitchell color case. This is the Essentials. This brush is from Bling Brushes. This is the L1 brush. I took this shade right here called Oats, and I basically just used this shade to basically fill in all of this empty space here. This is where I looked in the palette, and I was like, dang it, I wish there was an even lighter matte in here. I feel like there's not a matte in here that's really light to where I can kind of use it as a shade to set the lid. So I just took this shade right here called Icon, basically using this shade as like my base shade before I go in with the shimmers. The shimmer formula is a little bit different than what I'm used to from Glamlight, so I'm not sure if it's going to crease or not, so I wanted to have something down before just you know, before just putting the shimmer all on the lid. The shimmer of choice that really caught my eye was this one right here called XOXO. It's so pretty. I'm going to tap 
all over my lid. Look at that. In person, this shade looks absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take this Morphe X Ariel brush. This is the A7 brush. And I'm gonna tap into the black. And I'm just going to use this as like a little bit of a wing. Then I'm gonna take the very first Blend Bunny brush. I'm gonna take that Boop Love shade and just blend out this black so it's not as harsh. So this is basically the look. Of course, I'm gonna add lashes and all of that towards the end. This palette is really pretty. Of course, there's a few things that I would personally tweak about it, but the formula is really nice. I do love this shimmer formula. It's more of like a, it's more of an eyeshadow topper, but with a little bit more of a base color to it. But I think it is so pretty and so eye-catching. I feel like the camera's not doing these shades justice. Let's go ahead and move on to the face. So I already have my skincare and all of that prepped. I do want to go in with the newest One Size Secure the Glow Primer. Do I need more of a glow to the skin? No, not really. But I'm just going to go in with this. I've tried this a couple times. I've just been using this product more for hydration and not so much for longevity. It does give a slight tack to the skin, but nothing too crazy. I have this new product from Catrice. This is the Soft Glam Filter Fluid. So basically, this is their version of the e.l.f. Halo Glow in the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I also have the new one from Juvia's Place. I've tried the Juvia's Place one. I've worn it with makeup I think it looks really pretty I think the real question is is it anything different from the elf or the Charlotte Tilbury and my answer is no it's not any different from that these brands that are coming out with products like this I just feel like they're just another choice to add to the list to choose from so I feel like the Catrice one is gonna be just like that I do want to use the Catrice today since I haven't used it but I'm gonna use Catrice on one side and Juvia's Place on the other just in case you want to see how the Juvia's Place one looks with makeup on top. It has an ultra lightweight texture. It's supposed to even out your skin tone, gives a filter effect. It's hydrating with vitamin E and squalene, provides a sheer luminous glow, and it comes in nine shades. This one is $10. If this is anything like the Charlotte Tilbury, then this might be one of the affordable options, like even more affordable than e.l.f. The shade that I'm using is the shade Deep, and how I like to use this type of product is more of like basically where I would put highlighter. So this shade is the shade Deep, but they also sent over Tan Deep, and I feel like Tan Deep probably would have been the color I would have Oh, initially gone for it. Let me try to open this. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of tan deep here and let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, this one is very, very sheer. I think I like the shade tan deep a little bit better because it's a little bit lighter. But yeah, I guess I'll just put it all over. This one definitely gives that glass-like skin look and it is very sheer. The Juvia's Place one, has a little bit more coverage. The shade that I have in the Juvia's Place is the shade 3. And this one, I feel like, as you can see, gives more of a coverage on the initial swipe. And we're just going to compare the two sides. I don't know if I used the right brush just now, but I'm just going to stipple this in. And again, the Juvia's Place just gives a little tiny bit more coverage, whereas the Catrice is a little bit more sheer. But I do feel like the overall glow is basically the same. We'll say that because the Catrice one is a lot more sheer, I feel like I get more of a glass-like kind of look. Whereas the Juvia's Place one, I can see that little bit of tint from the shade that I chose. Uh, and the Juvia's Place one has a lot of shades. Pretty good shade range there. These two products are not really anything different from, you know, the ones we probably already have, which is either the e.l.f. or the Charlotte Tilbury. But if you want a more affordable option, Catrice has one for $10. And if you love Juvia's Place and you love to support them, then you have one you can get from Juvia's Place. This one is $25. Catrice also sent over their new Tinted Serum Foundations. This has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. So this is supposed to give a light to medium coverage, but I don't know if this is gonna give me enough coverage because I'm for today, I want it to go a little bit more full glam. I might mix it with the Revolution Skin Silk, but we'll see. We will see. Oh my gosh, these little, these little dropper applicators. I never can get enough product. Uh-oh. Oh no, not even going on my microphone. 
I'm gonna use a brush for this. This is a different brush. I have two, I have two of these brush sets. So let's see how this looks. Oh, actually, you know what? It's giving a little bit more coverage than I thought it would. The shade is not really the best. It's a little bit too dark. But in the summer, I feel like this shade will absolutely work for me. But, okay. Wow, you can definitely see that Catrice peeking through. I'm very glowy. Wow, this shade, it's a lot lighter than my skin tone, but I think I'm gonna need this shade. Let's see how this looks mixed in with this. Yeah, this is a very dewy kind of product. But I feel like that is to be expected because it does have, you know, like the hyaluronic acid in here and all of that. Mixing this, I feel like is a lot better. Like it kind of tones down that shade for me. Actually might not have to go in with this Revolution because I feel like it gave me quite a bit of coverage. It does say light to medium. And I definitely feel like I got that medium coverage. We have the Juvia's Place on this side under and then we have the catrice i don't know why but i feel like the catrice is showing through a lot more i don't have a new cream bronzer but i'm just gonna go on with my true rusty abh cream bronzer in the shade chestnut i feel like with this look this is like perfect because it can be subtle or it can be built up but i think this will be perfect i really need to get another one of these because i know this is expired i think i've had this since like 2020 maybe or maybe 2021 i've had this for a while so it might be time to get a new one it's probably expired at this point but it's lasted me a really long time and i feel like the formula is still pretty good i do want to put on concealer since this foundation is not the best match for me and then we'll do some blush but this is the urban decay quickie concealer in the shade 70 in in i feel so glowy next new product is this right here from basma beauty if you guys are not familiar with them they've newly come to sephora in the past like two year or so and this is their second product that they're launching they came out with a very viral stick foundation it literally looked like skin and they're coming out with cream blushes these are going to retail for 28 dollars they did send three shades to me i have the shade cherry red fuchsia and burnt orange these have a natural satin like finish it's buildable from sheer to bold it's for cheeks and lips only. It's paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan. It's also really cool about this is it slides. So the packaging is like, it's like a slide to the side. Look at that, so nice. Let's do the shade Cherry Red. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Complexion Dual Brush and let's just see how this looks. Oh, okay, it's not as intimidating. I'm just gonna take some on my finger and kind of like build this up there we go wow they were right so you definitely can go sheer or you can go bold and i really like this color that is so pretty it's also really dewy wow should i have like labeled this as like a dewy makeup look today because hello i'm looking and feeling so dewy yeah but yeah, you can definitely build it up or you can go a little bit more sheer. They did launch more shades, but I love that they sent me the shades that they feel like would work for my skin tone rather than sending me all of the shades because I feel like that would have just been a little bit wasteful if I couldn't use the other shades in the line. We're going to set all of this down. I'm going to go in with the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Setting Powder. Now, I did something so crazy. I saw that one of the claims on this powder was that it's waterproof and I dunked my face in some water because I wanted to really see if it's waterproof. Tati, cue the clip. One of the claims on this new powder is that it's waterproof.
Not me being shook by the results. Yeah, she's waterproof. I was so tempted because that is such a bold claim to make. And I was like, hold on, we have to really test out. We have to really test out if this is waterproof or not. It was, and I was shocked, and I can't believe I literally did that, but I needed to see if that claim was true. And it definitely was. It was definitely waterproof. I really like this powder. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Oh, this looks so good. Setting it down. I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to get to this step because when I see all of this like glow, I'm like, ooh, girl. But then when I set it down, I'm like, okay, there we go. The makeup is coming together and it's looking, it's looking real good. On a regular day, I would not be going in with all of these glowy products at once. I wouldn't use the tinted serum and the glowy base product as well. I feel like that's a little bit too much glow for me. I love how that is still peeking through. I'm just gonna take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus to kind of melt this down a little bit. This is a must for me, but everything is coming together. For liner, I'm gonna go on with this one from ColourPop. This is in the shade Fluffy. I've had this for such a long time and every time I go to use one of my ColourPop liners, I'm always nervous that it's gonna be dried out, but I'm always surprised by the fact that it's not. I am still really glowy, wow. I feel like this side right here is way more glowier than the Juvia's Place side. I feel like I was able to really set down the Juvia's Place side, but that Catrice side, if y'all want something glass-like that's really gonna peek through no matter how much you powder, yeah. It's literally, I literally just went in with more powder on this side and it kind of tones down a little bit, but I still feel like it is very glass-like. At least it's doing what it's supposed to do. I think I'm gonna take the shade Boop Oop A Dupe, that red, and go on the lower lash just to kind of tie this color back into this look. I'm gonna do a little powder blush. I know I went in with the red, you know, from Basma, but I wanna go in with this pink, this is in the shade Girly Pop from One Size. This is their new blush shade. And I am feeling pink today. So we're gonna go pink, you know, on top. You can definitely build it up to be really intense, but that's stunning. Definitely kind of went in with the pink with the Basma, but I really wanted that red was calling me. Okay, it might be time to retire these half lashes because I feel like I don't know, maybe I need to clean them because like they're not both looking the same, but they are the same, I promise. I got this new highlighter from Makeup Revolution. I was just browsing in Ulta and I saw this. This is in the shade Bronze Baddie. So we're gonna try this. I feel like I've seen this on my TikTok For You page. I've seen a couple people talk about this. This looks to be like a baked kind of formula. I don't know, I've really been into highlighters lately. I've been really just like wanting to try new highlighters as if I need more glow to this skin. But, oh that's, ooh, that's actually really pretty. I have a lot of glow on today. Wow, so much glow, but that's gorgeous. And it's super smooth too. It's definitely giving more of a blinding highlighter and not a lit from within glow. But I'm not mad at it though. I have this About Face lip liner in the shade Smoked. I've actually tried this once before, but I lost it while I was out of town and I was so sad. I was like, hold on, I need this lip liner in my collection, so I bought another one. Odin's Eye just collabed with three different content creators and I have some lippies here. They did send over this collection. Before I go into the lip, I do want to show you these palettes. This is the Earthwood palette. It's really, really pretty, but this is what this palette looks like. This one's in collab with Fancy Face. Then we have the Spring Dragon Palette. This one's in collaboration with Judy. This one's really cute. It's a more like springy pastel kind of palette. This one, this one's the Mighty Monster Palette with Annette. This color story is the one that really gets me because I love the tones that she chose in here. That green shade in the middle, absolutely gorgeous. And the look that I created with this palette was absolutely stunning. These are all like the shine and glow formula and there's one matte lippy in here, but I think for today, this one's one of my favorite shades. It's called Creativity. This one is from, this one's in the collab with Tina. So pretty. It has like 
reflect in it it's so gorgeous but i really like this glow formula from odin's eye it's a little bit thicker of a formula but I just love the shine that this gives to the lips. It's so pretty. Last product we have is this new setting spray from Juvia's Place. This is the Ready, Set, Sealed setting spray. They don't even say what this setting spray is supposed to do. Is it supposed to mattify? Is it supposed to be radiant? I don't know. It doesn't even say it. <laughs> so we're just going to try it out. I love the mister. It gives you a nice generous spritz, which is nice. Not a fan of that scent. It kind of smells like flowers and like very fragrant. Let's recap what I tried today. First thing being the Catrice Soft Glam Filter. I feel like this is doing what it's supposed to do. If I'm comparing both sides now, I really do feel like the Catrice is peeking through a lot more than the Juvia's Place. Even with a set face, I just feel like... The Catrice is a lot more radiant and it gives more of like a glass-like kind of look to the skin. So if this kind of product is your jam. The Catrice right now is definitely the winner from just like how it looks with the makeup. Juvia's Place one, like I said, it definitely does give like that coverage in a way. It's not really super glass-like. For the overall finish of what it does, it basically just gives a glow to the skin which is literally just like the Charlotte Tilbury. It's just like the e.l.f., you know? Really, it just comes down to which brand do you want to buy from, you know? They all basically do the exact same thing. The Tinted Serum Foundation. Wow, I would definitely use this again because it gave me the coverage that I was not expecting, but I like the coverage that it gave. The only thing is I don't know how it's going to wear. Like I said, I'm filming at 11.20 p.m., so no wear test today, but... I definitely had to mix both of these shades because they, you know, this one was not my shade, but mixed together, it was great. The Glam Light Betty Boop Palette, really nice. I thought this palette was going to be a lot more red than it actually is, but it's not. I do wish that there was another deeper shade to really deepen up the looks. Maybe like a deep purple would have been nice in this palette. But the shimmers are definitely the standout for me. They are so pretty. And I really wasn't, I kind of had to make the purple shade like in the crease but i am not mad at it i think my overall look is gorgeous and i think it gives a really cute valentine's day-esque look you know love this mirror it's so big and i can see my entire face with this the revolution highlighter i really like this but i would only use this on days when i want something a lot more blinding you know it's not a subtle glow it's definitely a blinding highlight and if this is your jam, this was like $12. I've tried the setting powder before. If you guys want to see like a wear test with this, it's already up on my channel. The Basma Beauty blushes, love that they're versatile in the fact that you can go really sheer or you can make it bold. I think next time I use these, I would use a sponge because I feel like it's going to give me a little bit more of a better kind of application. The brush was good, but I just feel like a sponge just might really work well with this product since it is a little bit more dewy like instead of using the brush because I feel like with the brush I really had to like work the brush in there also the packaging on these love this the Juvia's Place setting spray I don't know it did not mattify I don't feel like it mattified my skin I don't really know what it did as far as the finish but I'm not a fan of the scent of this pretty fragrant if you don't like fragrances you're not going to like that setting spray i think that was pretty much it i hope you all enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me happy valentine's day again and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys